Chapter 10, another clue. Late morning, sunlight shone through the treehouse window. Shadows danced on the walls and ceiling. Jack took a deep breath. The treehouse was back in the Frog Creek woods. I wonder what mom's making for lunch, said Annie. She was looking out the window. Jack smiled. Lunch? Mom? Home? It all sounded so real, so calm and safe. I hope it's peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, he said. Boy, this place is a mess, said Annie. We'd better make it neater in case M comes back. Jack had almost forgotten about M. Will we ever meet M? Jack wondered. The person who seems to own all the books in the treehouse? Let's put the Egypt book on the bottom of the pile, said Annie. Good idea, said Jack. He needed a rest before he visited any more ancient tombs. Let's put the dinosaur book on top of the Egypt book, said Annie. Yeah, good, said Jack. He needed a long rest before he visited another Tyrannosaurus Rex. The castle book can't go on the very top of the pile, said Annie. Jack nodded and smiled. He liked thinking about the knight on the cover of the castle book. He felt as if the knight was his friend. Jack, said Annie. Look, she was pointing at the wooden floor. What is it? he asked. You have to see for yourself. Jack walked to Annie and looked at the floor. He didn't see anything. Turn your head a little, said Annie. You have to catch the light just right. Jack tipped his head to one side. Something was shining on the floor. He tipped his head a bit more. It came into focus. It was the letter M. It shimmered in the sunlight. This absolutely proved the treehouse belonged to M. There was no doubt about it. Jack touched the M with his finger. His skin tingled. The leaves trembled. The wind picked up. Let's go home now, Jack said. Jack grabbed his backpack. Then he and Annie climbed down the ladder. As they stood on the ground below the treehouse, Jack heard a sound in the bushes. Who's there? He called. The woods grew still. I'm going to bring the medallion back soon, Jack said loudly. And the bookmark too, both of them. Tomorrow, who are you talking to? asked Annie. I feel like M is nearby, Jack whispered. Annie's eyes grew wide. Should we look for M? But just then their mother's voice came from the distance. Jack! Annie! Jack and Annie looked around at the trias. Then they looked at each other. Tomorrow, they said together. They took off running out of the woods. They ran down their street. They ran across their yard. They ran into their house. They ran into their kitchen. They ran into their mom. She was making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches.